NASA shut down live feed as something terrifying showed up. When measuring the vastness of outer space, scientists have yet to get a precise measurement of how wide it is. All the research and discovery scientists make aren't up to half of the universe. A study concluded that we have only explored about 4% of our universe, leaving a massive 96% left for exploration. This prompted NASA to always explore space and send live feeds to the internet. Recently, NASA shut down the live feed because something terrifying showed up. Watch on to find out what the terrifying object is. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any of our updates. The small percentage of areas we've explored leaves the rest open to new possibilities. We could discover many interstellar objects, multiple planets, or glimpses of an alien civilization. This research has led top explorers, scientists, and engineers from five participating agencies in the world, namely the United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the amalgamation of the European Union, to come together with a common goal of exploring space and all that is in it, to build one of the most impressive technologies ever to be invented in human history, the International Space Station. The space station is an advanced research laboratory where tests in astronomy, meteorology, astrobiology, and physics are carried out. The space station is also known for testing spacecraft equipment and systems used on space missions to explore our universe. The space station sends live feedback to Earth through NASA for further research between astronauts on the space station and scientists on Earth. At times, these live feeds were disseminated to the public by broadcasting them through media outlets such as radio and television stations. Among this type of live feed is the iconic Apollo 11 mission, the first landing on the moon by Neil Armstrong and lunar module pilot Buzz Aldrin. The live feed was transmitted worldwide on July 21, 1969. Over time, we have continued to watch the technological advancements and explorations made by the International Space Station through live feeds. Along the line, we have discovered that NASA is trying to hide some information from the general public. Since the 1940s, we have received strange reports about flying object sightings. The sightings and info about these peculiar objects gradually gained ground and became a worldwide phenomenon until movies were made about it. In recent times, there have been speculations about the existence of another civilization known as aliens, with more technological evolution than humans. This became an important topic for research that even the National Aeronautical and Space Administration made it a priority to look out for possible alien civilizations and know more about their histories. The Pentagon disclosed that it has been researching these UFOs and even established the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program in 2007. Since then, the program has made findings and checking for irregularities in space. Many reports are still being made about the sightings of these UFOs. It has been a while since NASA has looked into the possibility of an alien civilization, in 2015, the International Space Station abruptly cut off a live stream from the transmission directly after a mysterious unidentified object was captured from far over the horizon, from the view of the planet Earth. The live feed was interrupted for 10 to 15 seconds after the object appeared on the screen. Until the camera was turned on, UFO watcher and alien hunter Toby Lund said he spotted what he claimed was an unidentified flying object just outside the space station while observing the live feed on his laptop. Lund said he took several screenshots of the live feed before it was mysteriously interrupted, and it looks exceptionally like the Starfleet insignia in Star Trek. He added that some UFOs are always appearing, 
and NASA always cuts when a UFO gets close to the station. They further removed the recording from archives as part of an effort to conceal alleged communication between UFOs and astronauts. However, another incident came a couple of weeks later, whereby a silvery object was seen coming up above the horizon and then vanishing moments before NASA switched to a different camera, thereby making the sighting of this UFO twice. Isn't it weird? Possibly a bit of debris blocked the lens, or it was even the moon. But the YouTuber that posted the video isn't convinced. He said we should remember that the moon appears white when it shows. Meanwhile, on October 7th of the same year, UFO observers said they witnessed a weird object near the station during a space walk by astronauts Reed Weissman and Alexander Gerst. This mysterious object was later identified as either a speck of dust or a lens flare from the sun. However, those reasons are not convincing enough, as more conspiracy theories arise, with alien researchers and ufologists standing their ground that it was proof we aren't alone in the universe. NASA spokesman Daniel Hoot told CNET that the live feed was not deliberately cut, Hoot said cameras mounted on the International Space Station are controlled automatically. He added that the station regularly passes out of range of the tracking and data relay satellites used to send and receive video, voice, and telemetry from the station. He said the camera would show a blue screen or a preset video slate whenever signals were lost. In 1948, the U.S. government launched different inquiries into space, which many believed were sparked by Cold War paranoia. More than 12,000 encounters with UFOs were recorded and observed by the Air Force in what is known as the Project Blue Book. The U.S. Air Force says the Blue Book included 12,618 sighting reports, 701 of which remained unidentified. In an interview with Professor Andrew Ballock from the Imperial College London Department of Physics, he said... Generally speaking, UFO sightings are either explained by some artifact effect, it could even be some space junk or left explained as there is insufficient evidence. He added that it is difficult to judge from the video in this case because of its poor quality. Still, if NASA had access to high-quality images, they may further investigate if they wish to. But NASA officials are yet to comment on the incident. Even the live feed and rover pictures from the International Space Station have become an immense source of evidence for conspiracy theorists. Many scientists believe UFO sightings result from a psychological phenomenon called pareidolia. This describes how the brain responds to seeing significant objects in ransom. Nigel Watson, an author on the UFO investigation, said that most of these images are as vague and elusive as those posted by UFO witnesses on Earth, and many had a fairly mundane explanation. The problem is that the more NASA denies such things, the more people think there is a conspiracy to hide the truth that aliens are visiting our planet. It became clear that the UFO study done by NASA was not centered on looking for aliens. The researchers said this because NASA announced that it would begin the study of Unidentified Aerial Phenomenons, UAPs, in early June after numerous reports of UFO sightings in the past year. In 2022, 8 to 12 experts will be working on the UAP independent study. This program aims to mainly identify data that has already been gathered from NASA and other organizations, with analysis techniques that may advance the understanding of the UAP scientifically. The team includes former astronaut Scott Kelly and 15 other scientists and experts in the field ranging from computational data science, physics, astrophysics, astronomy, oceanography, and other disciplines. In June, NASA announced that the team would be led by David Spurgel, the president of Simons Foundation, an astrophysicist who formerly chaired Princeton University's astrophysics department. NASA said the study would focus exclusively on unclassified data. The team would discuss how data gathered by civilians, government entities, commercial data, and other sources can be potentially analyzed to shed light on UAPs. 
When questioned about the study by NASA, the lead scientist of the study, David Spurgle, said the universe is both simple and remarkably weird. We don't know its origin or fate, but he added that we could discover more about its composition in the coming years. It is based on NASA missions and research on the ground. The continued government support of these efforts is important for the U.S. to remain the global leader in astrophysics research. The fact that we are not alone in the universe is getting more obvious. NASA interrupting the live streaming also increases the speculations that they were hiding something interesting, even erasing almost the recorded images from their archive. However, the unidentified object was proved by some conspiracy theorists to be the sighting of aliens, while NASA opposed it. We are sure that the unidentified object remains unidentified, not yet known, which prompts a study group set up by the agency to explore the space further. Could this UFO be identified later? What is your opinion on the reason NASA interrupted the live feed in the first place? Thanks for watching this video. Do tell us your views in the comments box. For more educational videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future updates. See you in the next video. Bye.